This is a review of the Krauss and Becker airless paint sprayer from Harbor Freight, plus instructions on how to prime and start painting. You can purchase this paint sprayer at Harbor Freight stores or the Harbor Freight website for under $200. This is a phenomenal value given that the Graco 5 Ace horsepower sprayer is nearly twice the price as this sprayer. The review that I would give this sprayer is a five stars and I will write a review on the Harbor Freight website. The spraying is seamless, it's powerful, and it is an excellent value. I do consider this a professional paint sprayer. It's important to maintain the equipment and make sure that the pump is well lubricated after spraying. I had to build this platform to use the airless paint sprayer with a five gallon bucket. So this could be its only negative aspect. The stand on the paint sprayer is not high enough to where the tubing goes into a five gallon bucket. So as you can see, I just had to build something, a platform to where the paint sprayer could go into a five gallon bucket. I made sure to secure the paint sprayer and the bucket and the platform in the wagon with bungee cords. The reason that I built it to go onto a wagon is so that I could wheel it around my yard, which has some dips and holes in it. So it was ideal to have the bungee cords holding the pump and the uh, paint and buckets in place. As you can see here, after it's ready to paint, I covered the top with a cover from a paint can plus an old sheet so that the paint would not dry up during painting. I did have to purchase this Duraflex airless hose for about $40 from Lowe's. So the Krauss and Becker comes with a 25 foot hose, which is usually long enough, but you could use longer. This tip was recommended to me from Sherwin Williams. It's a 662515 tip and it worked flawlessly. I did not try the tip from uh, Krauss and Becker. So to prime and start painting, here are the okay, quick instructions. Right, you. You'll want to use a filter in a five gallon bucket and pour the paint through the filter. So watch closely as I take Stop. the filter off of the bucket and okay. squeeze the paint Ready? through it. This is to make sure that there are no um, particles or dried up paint or any other things that would clog up the tip. So you just slowly push the paint through the filter and it goes into the bucket. Then you quickly um, hose that off and clean up before you proceed to this next step. Take the priming hose into this extra bucket here. I'll show you. The next step is to make sure that this nozzle is on the priming setting and that this knob yes. here is also on the priming setting. Set to prime. There's the prime, line okay. it up with the arrow. We then turn on the machine and wait for the paint to start shooting out of the smaller hose. Once it starts shooting out, you let it go for about 20 or 30 seconds. As you see, it's coming out firmly here and pretty quickly, so keep it in the bucket. Your next step will be, as it's coming out, to flip the switch on to the spray mode. When you do this, the paint will stop coming out, and it's continuing to go into the longer tube for the paint sprayer. Take the small tubing and put it back into the paint can. For this next step, make sure that the tip is removed from the gun as pressure has built up and now we will release the pressure that's coming through the hose. Back off and make sure because it will come out fast. Then place the tip, hand tightened, back onto the gun. Following placing the tip onto the gun, 
you will want to move the knob of the paint sprayer to full paint spray mode. So turn it to the right and you are now ready to test the sprayer. Let's give it a test. It's painting well and it's coming out like it should. Here's a quick sample of some painting and how our house came out. We love the amount of spray that came out of the gun and we're very pleased overall with the Krausen Becker airless paint sprayer from Harbor Freight. Good luck.